Alrighty, what's going on bandits? Welcome back to Carrex Drifting Online. So as you can tell in this one, we're going to be doing a 180 drift tune for the Cobra GT530. You guys actually asked me to do a, a not a livery design, you probably will after seeing this one. <laughs> but uh, you asked me to do a new tune setup for this car, so I thought I'd go ahead and throw one out for you guys real quick. Now, this tune setup is a little bit different to my previous ones. It's a little bit more sensitive, kind of like your current generation. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> It's more sensitive in the ways of you can't just throw this thing across the room like most tune setups where you can literally throw your Xbox across the room and this car somehow is still not going to spin out. Your Xbox is going to be broken but the car is still driving completely straight, hasn't spun out, scrubbing the tires like mad because the Ackerman is literally zero. This isn't one of those builds. This is a build where you actually have to put in the work. You have to work for this car to work for you. Uh, which is why I really love these new builds because they're a lot more technical, they're a lot more harder to get to work, but when you get it to work, god dang they are so damn fun. So uh, you know, be warned, you cannot just limit bang this car, you have to feather that accelerator a little bit more, uh, that's why the gear ratio is a little bit shorter. This car can have a ton of power, so I've actually lowered the power quite quite a bit so it's i think it's just over a thousand horsepower still quite a lot of horsepower but with this car if you have it too low it bogs out so you have the complete opposite reaction right you go from limit bagging to just completely bogging out like crazy and constantly trying to get those those rpms back up again this thing you can get on the rpms just like that that's how i like it so you need to be careful with the throttle, you need to be careful when you switch because it's extremely aggressive when you switch. It can be made even more aggressive. It does three wheel, which is awesome. Love to see it. And also, it looks it looks really nice. I don't know what really came across to me when I made this livery design. I made the line on the back and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna add this. You know what, I'm gonna add this. Literally three hours later, I come up with this idea which looks like Nico Reed's S15 from New Zealand. Uh, I kind of like it. Pretty cool. Actually, really simple. So I might do a livery tutorial for this one. But anyway, let's jump into a bit of a drift here before we showcase the tune. And I'm going to do this live. And the reason I'm going to do this live is because I'm lazy. And I'm getting sick and tired of spending 30 to 40 minutes or even longer than that. Sometimes even four hours to a day editing the montage for you guys. Uh, the reason I don't want to do that is because the lobbies are getting progressively worse, as you can see right here. Look, there's hardly any lobbies which are full. Half of them are pretty much empty, right? And if you do get into a good lobby, well, you already know, right? There's just a big, long grocery list of issues that you come across, whether it's your connection, whether it's people being douchebags, people thinking it would be a great idea to do a 360 at the front of a tandem. You know the drill, right? And not to mention, I can't even play on goddamn European servers anymore because I've got this horrible glitch for some reason that the cars in front of me will like slowly move forward, it like judders forward. I might showcase it for you guys to see if I can show you what I'm actually talking about. So let's jump into, uh, I'm thinking we get a little bit of red rock action. Nah, let's go. Let's get uh, let's get some East Togate, then we'll jump into some Red Rock, and then maybe some St. Pittsburgh and, and uh, Red Ring as well. You know, kind of switch it up a little bit. Alright, so, join the first lobby, and like always, the majority of the lobby is sitting around sleeping on the side of the, of the uh, road here. Like a homeless person, because the goddamn rents are so freaking high all across the world. But anyway, let's see if we can actually find someone to drift with. Here we go. Look, there's some clean lines. Let's see if we can not ruin it. <laughs> now, I did just finish work, so I do apologize if I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, like I said, you don't need a flat tack this thing. I'm just kind of feeling these guys out, making sure I don't screw up their line. See, once you put this thing into fourth gear on East Toge, it just wants to go. It wants to take off on you. So that's why you can't just flat tack this thing. Third gear, you're pretty good. And then also, first, second, and third is short enough so that you can actually run red rock and stuff like that as well. Just my luck, eh? Hit that record button and all of a sudden, no issues. Man, I am, I am uh, feathering this thing so hard right now. Absolute ease. Uh, I see there's a little bit of glitchiness, but that's all good. Look at that switch. On point. And you will have to learn how to brake break drift, okay? If you don't know how to brake drift, you might struggle a little bit. Okay, 
those dudes backed off. Let's keep going. Oh, I like that S15. Oh, big dog. That's a nice color scheme. Man, he is all over that guy. See, when you want to be aggressive with this thing, you can be aggressive. If you want to be laid back, you can do that as well. But like I said, if you don't know how to break drift, you are going to struggle big time in this thing, man. Holy crap. You're going to be on those brakes for like the majority of these maps. Nice. All right, let's go jump over to another server. Okay, let's see if we can get any tandems on Red Rock. Now we do have a guy with a, uh, with a bit of a cancer bar over there, so we want to try and avoid him. We do have an S15 here. Holding some nice lines. Notice how I didn't just flat tack it there. See, even Red Rock, man, we are chilling. We are just taking our sweet time. Oh, there we go. See the glitchiness? See how we went back and forth? It only happens on European servers for me. Ooh, look at that three wheel action. Okay, I don't know where that guy's going. Sorry, buddy. I think he was thinking about passing old cancer bar up there, but then changed his mind at the last minute. I don't know about you guys, but I probably spend more time looking at the people's liveries while I'm drifting than actually concentrating. <laughs> I'll be looking at the guy in front of me like, ooh, yeah, noise, it's a good idea. I might implement that on my next build. I'll be a little bit too far up there. Is he gonna take him? Is he gonna? Uh, he keeps thinking about it. Come on, dude, you're either gonna overtake him or not, all right? You gotta commit. Let's see if we can get a tandem with these dudes over here. I definitely don't want a tandem behind old cancer bar over there because, yeah, it just causes a whole lot of issues. Here we go. Oh no. Old Ligma over here again once again. Oh, That's why we don't want to follow cancer bar because it uh, glitches everybody out. That dude's probably going to ram me now. Gosh, we're literally tandeming the smallest car. I can almost not even see this thing when I get close. Look. Oh, what the hell? See, this is why I don't like playing European servers. Although the, the quality of competition is good, the connection is god-awful. Get all over this brand new R32. Don't worry, tune setup is on its way. Oh man, that dude, man, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> oh, my bad. That's a nice R32, by the way. It's quite nice. Concentrate, concentrate. So I'm like, looking at the goddamn liveries. Can't be out here making myself look like a bloody scrub. There we go. Put on that pressure. Put on that pressure. Okay. Sweet as I'm out. Well, well, we know it works on Red Rock, so let's go ahead and try it on a little bit of a smaller map if we can. Oh my god, I'm so sick of Red Rock and East Togo. I can't be the only one that hates these tracks. It's all anybody runs. Oh, they're so boring. Why can't we get something decent? You know, we've got crappy maps in the game like uh, Bathurst, which no one uses for drifting, but we can't get a good track from New Zealand like Pukekohe or Hampton Downs or something like that. Manfield, Talpo, those tracks are insane, by the way. And they've got crazy variations and all sorts. Come on, Car X, man. Give us something good. R32 was good, but that Forester, what are you thinking? Ah, uh, we might as well hit some East Toge again. Or maybe we jump into this one, Springstone. This is a good track. Hardly anybody runs it because the cars are too underpowered for the most part. But this thing's got a lot of power, so let's hope everyone's not just napping on the map and just chilling in one spot. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, got a bit of a team. Got some team action. 
Alrighty, let's wait for him to come around and see if we can get on their doors. Uh, so no one decided they wanted to be the one that leads. So I thought I would go ahead and throw up a lead run real quick. And hold pretty shallow lines because I want to. Here we go. Get on my door, buddy. Now let's see who can stick with me through this part. Oh, that was such a shocking entrance. Going for the three wheel. Yeah, boy. I love that section, it's so cool. Dude, I'm going wide. Get on my door. Just too quick. Here we go. Bloody jumping around back there like a crazy person. Come on. Let me switch. What's the matter, buddy? Don't have any grip, huh? <laughs> it's right. See, all you need to do is get one person that has one decent clean line, and then the whole lobby comes together. You don't need people racing to the front. You don't need people thinking that they're better than you. That oh, you're too slow. Just need to follow the leader, and the whole lobby will slowly come together. Okay, people, it's not that difficult. Talking to those people that love to pass because they don't like chasing slow people, because they just simply don't know how to. Good job, mate. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Better give the little light flick. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've actually run this car on Springstone. That's the name of this track, right? I like to see right there, mate. I'm gonna pull off to the side. There we go. Good stuff. That's what I like to see. <sighs> Turn a messy lobby into a nice and smooth lobby. That's what we like to see, people. Alrighty, there we go, bandits. So a little bit of footage there, live footage, showing you guys what this car can do. Large maps, smaller maps. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. This car is just so damn cruisy. It honestly is. You guys are going to be shocked at how easy this thing is to drive. You can you can pack on massive angle. You can switch really fast. It's pretty much everything you, that you really want in a drift car. It's a lot of fun. Really easy to drive as well. So, with that all done and dusted, let's go ahead and actually show you guys the full setup show you the goods and then we'll end the video start off with the mods we're going to be using the ultimate mod all the body kits we are using street x front headlights we are using street x from bumper we are using custom performance for the hood we are using rnt for the roof we are using custom bodyworks wing mirrors we are using stock empty roll cage custom bodyworks side skirts custom bodyworks for the trunk we're using street x rear bumper missile spoiler stock empty tail lights street x exhaust missile over to the wheels we are using these ones here under d spec right next to the ones that pretty much no one ever uses in this game i don't think i've ever seen anybody rocking these ones man look how good that livery looks man just too good okay now onto the tune setup Okay, there we go guys, hopefully you enjoyed this build, let me know down in the comment section below how you felt it, what changes you made, also how many of you are excited for Street X? 
Carix 3DX, by the way. I'm actually pretty hyped up for it. I can't wait for a brand new, fresh game, a new environment, all that good stuff. Also, is there any other games that you guys are looking forward to, whether it's car games, any other type of game? Interested to know. Really, just want to start up a conversation in the comment section below for the old algorithm. But anyway, I'm Solo Bandit. Don't forget to be ripping that Team SB on your livery designs. And with that out of the way, guys, hopefully you enjoy the build. I'll catch you in the next one.